So the Apple Vision Pro reviews have started kind of rolling out, and it's what I expected. Uh, I'll link to one of my favorite, uh, Neelai from uh, The Verge, does a really good coverage. He does really good tech reporting in general, uh, really good. But if you look at all of the coverage of it, it's all about screens in the world and not immersion, right? They're not doing what we wanted to do with the Vive and what the Quest is doing, right? It's continuing of you being in the thing. Instead, this is screens being presented in the world to you on very nice screens, right? And, you know, I, and, it, and it's trying to open up the world to you, but you have to watch the whole world through lenses, right? It's not you actually looking through the world, um, like if you were using uh, Tilt 5's AR, but this, or, you know, some other glasses based one, but this is, you know, still going through, which, you know, is the bad side is I used to say the one positive about VR is uh, nobody can see the shame or you can see the shame of everybody else in the room of what you were doing and doing all the little weird game things. You know what I'm saying? All right. But uh, it's just interesting that this is trying to, I don't know what this is trying to solve because screens in your world are a cool thing but you give an inferior input. I'm still gonna disagree with Devin that we use tools for a reason and we type for a reason on a keyboard um, instead of even talking it or anything else. Um, and it's interesting in that his review, he also talks about something that I brought up was that the eye fatigue and just eye, you move your eyes all the time. And so eye tracking ends up being this big thing. When you move your hands all the time, like I do when you're talking, the two of those things combine to a lot of false input. I haven't used one, but everybody who has the same kind of weird things I have of like hand movement or, or I just talk about that. So that's not surprising. But so then I was just thinking, okay, so this is where we've gotten. And now Apple can say the Vision Pro is spatial computing. Well, guess what? We called it spatial computing back in the original Vive when we were first taking it out. I think Timony West from Unity would call it spatial computing all the time. I think she's the first person I heard say that. I mean, the word had existed even before then. So this isn't spatial computing, right? This is VR with pass-through. In a lot of ways, it's nothing new. And I like that review because it points out there's nothing new, but it's the best version of that. And that brings up the case of, so are we done? Like, this isn't it? Like... VR still exists. VR will still exist for a long period of time. I really still like going in immersive experiences where I am fully inside of there and having that where I believe I am in that world. But that's isolating. It's fatiguing. It's not something I want to do all the time. There's friction to doing it. Blah, 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 right? It's not my main way of playing or, or interacting. So, but it's fine to say that it exists. But like Apple's trying to say like you're going to wear this around all the time. Which, the, I don't know if you saw the, I think it's the Wall Street uh, Journal reporter actually wore it while cooking, even though Apple says not to. You know, she points out, like, none of the colors are right. It doesn't show all the colors, because it can't. Um, and amazing screens, but they're not that amazing. Um, but, like, so it is just all of these problems. So, like, what would we want? Do we just want, this, like, I, people kept ask, acting like AR and VR were the same, and I kept trying to get in arguments with people about them, how they're radically different. AR is augmenting your view. You want to look into the real world and you want to have things pop up. I remember uh, when it, Magic Leap had the Weta thing where like monsters come out of your wall. So what? Like I'm still shooting that and now I just have this distraction of a less designed game, right? Or if you think about like all of those early um, games for the Oculus where you're using the 360 controller, you were looking at the game, just looking at it in a nicer way. But nobody plays those anymore because they're just looking at them. With the VR thing, the VR promise is the immersion into the crazy world that you get to drop into, right? And I like that. I like cutting off and dropping into that world and removing myself from this. Like, and it's the best exercise machine ever built because of that, I think. But it's not something you can use all the time. And it's got a lot of like, I'm not going to ever put a headset on to go look at screens because I'm also looking at a movie over here. Uh, the cat's coming in the room. Like there's a lot of things going on that I don't want to trade off for just so I can have a little bit bigger of a screen. So what is the device that people actually want? Or do we want? I think there's really two devices, right? There is VR and hopefully the vision pro now proves VR is VR. And it is its own thing. It is its own beast. It's its own thing that we use to cut ourselves off from the world because we want to have this experience. The only reason why we bring the real world in is because we don't want to walk in the pool. 
Um, but otherwise, there's that experience. And then AR is that augmentation on top of that where we're learning information. And almost all of those wild versions of that where people are all excited, like, oh yeah, you walk into a room and it pops up and tells you who everybody is. Eh, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, I, so I used to travel a lot with Doug Lombardi, uh, who's the marketing guy from Valve, and Doug knows everybody's name. Uh, I'm Chet from Cleveland and Doug's head and then he'll remember my whole name. Like he has his little mnemonic way of remembering everybody's name. And he'll be, some people are like, hey, I sat in an elevator with you for 30 seconds on, you know, 1957. And Doug would be like, oh yeah, Steve from, you know, Chicago, great to see you. And I'd be like, nah, I can't remember my mom's name. Uh, and that was fine. Like it's fine to have a different set of personalities. Like a lot of this technology is just smoothing us out, making us all, like AI does that a lot. It just makes us all bland. And I will gladly be the non-bland, spicy person on the side who doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Um, but yeah, I just comes, it just comes down to is I understand what I want out of VR. And VR is really close to there. The Quest is a good headset. Uh, I think lighter. I think still think you need input because you're gonna swing your hands like you put them behind your back. You ain't gonna be able to do that. You ain't gonna do that with the Vision Pro. Pro. Right, again, we use tools for a reason. We use tools for a reason. Um, I don't chop down a tree with my fist, unless I'm playing Rust. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, but I want tools. So I really think AR and VR are separate. And we should stop saying one's the road to the other and instead say, maybe we are at a really good place in VR and this is as far as it's gonna go. It'll grow because there'll be better experiences, there'll be more experiences, there'll be more headsets, people get accustomed to it, blah, 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 blah. But AR will be its own thing. And AR will be a thing that you don't look so silly wearing. Um, and that you can interact with people around you and share and point to things and say, did you see that, right? Like, there's that whole thing of not having the shared experience because you've got your vision pro on and the person next to you doesn't No, you can mess with them i guess by doing the, the finger thing and this, oh, this i guess I hold my mic stand i don't know i don't know i just i think i'm not happy but i think i'm comfortable that all of the reviews pretty much uh kind of back of what i was think, talking about that it wasn't about the immersion for them and it's about the screens and i think that's a dead end and I think Apple's just trapped that they don't want to, they don't want to, excuse me, they don't want to make, they don't admit they're making a VR headset and that's what they're making. And everybody tells them, well, AR is the future. And the really smart people in the room, it'd always be the really smart people in the room would be like, well, VR, this is just the next step to AR. And again, no, you're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Again, it's the LinkedIn people who are going to be telling you that all the technology evangelists, right? And you see that again and again, the, the VR or the tech evangelists who aren't actually using this stuff, aren't actually understanding it, but instead just get paid to be positive and spread BS. So I think hopefully the Vision Pro now tells us AR is one thing, VR is the other. It's okay. It's okay to have them be separate. They can be separate and they can both be really cool. They don't need to be the same.